Good morning my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. This is video number three of um, how to achieve your goals and health benefits, a bit of nutrition, a bit of motivation, a bit of everything. And today's video is supposed to conclude the whole story. If you didn't see my previous two videos, feel free to look at my channel and they're quite beneficial. It's a different point of view from what common beliefs are how to lose your weight, how to achieve your goals, how to feel better, what supplementation you might need, if, if any. So all videos in, uh, I'll try to put in video description, but also check my channel. Also, I would like to remind what I will talk about in this video. You might need some basic forms of supplementation. The electrolytes are very important. So electrolytes are calcium magnesium sodium potassium right so calcium we've got enough in our body please consume enough of the right or good salt and then you will need to supplement with magnesium and potassium because we may not have enough in our diet all the supplements are in the video description let's assume you consume enough electrolytes you consume right nutrition and you still believe that going to gym is the best way to lose weight to achieve your goals and that's what i noticed today at the gym people come in there and they are lifting heavy they're running fast they're squatting they're jumping and yet everyone struggle to achieve end result so point of this video is not to pick on anyone, it's basically to unwrap why people working so hard to achieve their goals and they still don't achieve it. It all comes to nature. We cannot fool the nature. We really need to follow nature's rules, understand them and adjust. So first one is nutrition. I emphasize in every single of my video and I try to emphasize again, you cannot outrun poor diet. You really need to make sure that you reduce the amount of carbohydrates. If you cannot reduce the amount of carbohydrates for now, reduce the amount of processed carbohydrates, processed food, food that brings you energy but don't bring you nutrition. Focus on nutritional value, not calories. Don't worry about calories. Eat food that will give you minerals and vitamins. That is what's important. Let's say white bread has zero vitamins and minerals. Um, processed food has almost zero vitamins and minerals. Anything that is fortified, everything that is on a packaging that uh, says added vitamins, the all synthetic body does not know how to absorb them well, or if it absorbs well, you most likely to uh, excrete it or we or poo or whatever. What I'm trying to say is eat well and don't worry about calories. I'm genuine. Uh, calories, you will learn how calories work for you when you will be more satisfied with your food and will eat less. The second thing is eat less often. I don't say eat less, eat less often. If you can stop snacking is a great first step. If you can stop eating more than two meals a day is the second step intermittent fasting or intermittent eating and do that practice great you've got your electrolytes you've got your simple um, uh, uh, supplements if you're missing some from your diet now we are moving towards gym workout that i started from lifting heavy it's not necessary to get strong and that's why i try to tell people variety is spice of life if you're lifting heavy and focusing on lifting heavy and heavier of the same repetition, increased amount of repetition, you're not exercising muscles, you're developing muscle memory. The most beneficial exercise at the gym for you, most likely, it's exercise or set of exercises that you don't like. And the reason is that they are hard, they're challenging and they're so good for you. Focus on things that you don't like. Most likely you don't like exercises that deploy 
big muscles like legs like back like things like that. everyone can go to gym and exercise bicep i exercise bicep probably um one day a week if anything if you have really good exercise of big muscle it will excrete human growth hormone inside your body and your muscles will grow and your biceps will grow anyway bicep is a, such a small muscle in the body the second thing is don't focus on lifting heavy focus on lifting slow focus on lifting well as a posture as a, a stability and focus on eccentric moves what i'm trying to say because i'm seeing it's easier to uh, show on the muscle if you lift with muscle up then focus like for example it takes you one second to lift up focus on when you go down not just drop the weights focus like two three seconds to go down muscle under tension will develop better than muscle that you lift with so contraction doesn't do enough for muscle tear to and i'll regrow later on so muscle under tension will give you more benefits so if you would like to be strong if you'd like to look great you really need to focus not on lifting on actually returning back or eccentric moves another thing that i noticed at the gym everyone doing the same things over and over again i play with my uh, uh boy yesterday and i'm quite a strong man i noticed that what he does if i repeat what he's doing i'm challenged physically i cannot keep up you need to try to exercise variety of moves move, move awkwardly like a spider-man move sideways do jumps do things that observe what kids do and how they play if you think of most beneficial cardio exercise will be high intensity interval training or HIIT kids do it all the time they sit still then they sprint they sit still they sprint they sit down they get up they always fit there are not that many kids that they play you know outdoor and and uh, and remain you know unhealthy so what i'm trying to say is if you decided that your gym routine it's what makes you healthy focus on eccentric moves focus on big muscles focus on unconventional moves like what kids do and you achieve better stronger goals and again because we're aging our muscles our skeletal composition require a little bit more focus on your nutrition and some basic supplements and i put all the supplements in the video down below I hope that you find this video useful. If you'd like to know more about nutrition or exercise or anything else, please comment down below and I'll try to create more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.